Hello, if you're interested in learning how to cook and clean collard greens, watch this video and find out. I am about to show you how to clean, cut, and cook collard greens from on top of the stove. So um, if you never had homemade collard greens and never had cooked them before, take notes and here we go. Okay, I'm about to show you exactly what I have. Okay, these are my collard greens. I bought six stocks of these. Um, it looks like this is a lot, but really this is not a lot because it's gonna cook down. Okay, I'm ready. Now, um, some of these is already apart and this is some of these is not so i'm gonna go ahead and tear some of these apart uh i went to the store and i got the last bit of the green so <laughs> i got the bad <laughs> i prefer my um collard greens look better than this better than these but um i literally got them at the last minute all right now i'm looking at my greens you see this the you don't cook this right here. If you do cook this, it's going to take a very, very long time to cook this stream here. This seam right here, it's going to take a very, very long time. You definitely got to clean these because they, they, they feel dirty. Now you can feel the dirt. But I'm going to show you how to take this apart. So right now I'm separating these right now. I'm just breaking the long stems. Okay, now I'm about to go ahead and add some cold water on this side of the sink. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my stuff <laughs> back over here. Okay, cold water. Okay, I, I am done now. Now it's time to uh, clean these. Okay, I'm going to add some salt to this. And then we're going to add some vinegar to this. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and soak these. I'm going to let it sit for a while before I um, do anything with these, okay? I'm going to let them sit. So let this soak for a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's time for me to clean these. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take your leaf. And you're going to rub it. Be careful not to um, uh, break them. Just rub it. Okay, I did let them soak for a little bit. I'm gonna put it on this side of the sink. You know, my sink is nice and clean. Just rub them. Yeah, the salt water and the vinegar, it help cleans it. Okay, I'm going to repeat my step, but this time I'm going to rinse with cool water after I clean them. So I'm going to soak them again. And you can tell at the bottom, there is a little dirt in there. Yes, it is. So we are going to re-clean these one more time and rinse them with cold water. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean these. And you make sure you stack these when you do this, okay? Make sure you stack them. Make sure you cold water. Just rub, rub, rub. Okay. 
Okay. You're going to do this until you complete this step. So I'm doing mine twice. This is my second time around. And I say it didn't matter how much salt and water, you know, I did put a quite a bit of salt and um, vinegar in this, but it don't matter. Because like I said, you, you're doing, you're trying to clean them. That salt and vinegar will help you clean it. Then you're cleaning it through with water, you know, right after this. So, like I said, it don't matter. Alrighty, well I see you guys after I'm done with the step. Okay, it is time to cut the greens. Okay, now do you see this leaf? This collard green. Alright, you see this stem? Stem or vein, whatever you want to call it. This needs to get cut out. So I'm going to show you how to uh, cut this out. Alright, I have a knife here. I'm going to start, I'm going to catty corner this. I'm going to bring it all the way down. Okay. Then I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to bring it all the way down. Okay. There it is. That's how to get rid of that. Because you can cook this if you like, but it will take a very long time to render this to make it soft it's very hard to uh, cook this down I mean it's possible but it will take a long time so to avoid all that we are going to not do that <laughs> so I'm gonna set this aside so I have another cutting board so I'm gonna stack these all right here's another one same thing even though it's smaller it still have that thing right down the middle so every last one of these, big and small, you're going to cut that middle piece out. Get a knife. Right when it started getting big at. I went ahead and cut it that way. Then I'm going to bring it down. Okay. Just bring it straight down. There you go. There. You're going to stack them. This is a bigger one. This is a medium size. So I'm going to try to make sure I stack them according to the sizes. But they don't have to be perfect. <laughs> so this is a smaller one. Okay. Try not to tear them. <laughs> All right. This is a smaller one. So I'm going to put that right there. It's the big one and the smaller one. Okay. So three sizes. Again, cut it. I cut it this way, right across. Then I'm gonna bring it down. Bring it down, bring it down. Oops, pull that out and stack it. There, perfect. These are all about the same size. <laughs> all right. You're going to continue doing this until you're done with all of them. Small, medium, large. Just stack them. Okay? Just stack them all up. You see? Small, medium, large. So I'm going to continue doing this until I'm done. Okay? I'll be back. Okay, now it's time to cut these greens oh before we cut the greens um the way i was cutting them um you can also do this with your hands i saved one um way back when i was younger that's how we cut it we just pull them out like this yeah just just yep just tear it like this that's how we did it when we was younger so if you don't have a knife to do this <laughs> the way i just showed you just pull it out this way. There. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you 
how to cut this. All right, let's lay it down. Okay. Okay. This is about six of them, okay? I'm going to roll these up the long way, okay? Not this way. We can if I like, but I'm going to roll them like this. I'm just... Roll them up. Roll them up nice and tight. Just like if you're rolling your own cigarettes. See, I don't smoke. <laughs> I don't smoke no cigarettes. I don't smoke at all. Okay. There you go. Nice and tight. Now I'm going to cut this. Now you can cut this any type of style you want, but this is how I'm going to cut it, okay? I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut this, cut, 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 and we're going to continue cutting this until we are done. Cut, cut, cut. And see all the extra right there? You can just try to do however you like to cut that in. There you go. There you go. There. So, you no, know, I like mine like this. But if you want it smaller, you can cut them smaller. For instance, look at this one right here. Okay. If you want to cut them smaller, you can. After you roll it like that, you can just cut it. No, but remember, these are going to cook down. They're going to cook down. <laughs> Just remember. So I'm fine with mine like this. I'm fine. So I'm going to continue cutting my greens. So I'm going to take all these. This, this is the shortest one. This is the ones for uh the short ones. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them. I mean, I'm going to roll them up. I'm horrible about trying to roll stuff up. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not good. I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> like, I don't, I never rolled cigarettes before. I don't know how to roll. I know. I don't know how to cut. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, okay, this is how they, they're going to be, okay? Yeah, bite size, okay? Stack them over there. They smell so good. This is the rest of the, uh, the large ones. Got it all in a nice bowl. Set it aside. Okay. Now I'm about to show you how, what type of seasoning and stuff you need. I'll be right back. Okay, you need a teaspoon of red pepper. Um, you can add more or less, or you can leave it out. You need um, three garlic cloves. I'm gonna take the paper off of that and stuff. Um, don't cut it too small, but dice it up, but not too small, okay? And you also need three cups of chicken broth. So let's get started with the next step. Um, when I get back with the next step, this this is already <laughs> this is gonna be already uh, cut up. Oh yeah, not to mention um, a half of a large onion. Make sure you dice this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep this up now before I go to the next step. I'll be right back. All right, it's time to add the oil. <clears throat> if you do not have um, a oil, you can also use. Um, pork fat, like bacon fat or whatever, but I'm using olive oil, I'm using any type of oil that you want. All right, now add some oil in your pot. Okay, I just use some regular olive oil, if you can see that. And the first thing we're gonna add to this is our onions, okay? We're gonna saute our onions. 
not we not really saute it. We I just really want it to get a little uh soften. Okay. This is our half an onion. All right. We're gonna soften this up. Now you just uh Dice up your onions. Um, you can see that my onions is <laughs> various of different sizes, but you know it's not perfect. But I have onions. All right. When you um, done with your onions, we're gonna add our garlic. Okay. So let's saute these for about uh, about five minutes. Okay, about five minutes. I'll be right. Back. Okay. I am back. I said five minutes, but I think I let it cook for about three. <laughs> All right, it's time to add our uh, garlic with three, with three cloves, and I um, dice them. I did not make them too big or too small. Now, this is only going to cook for only about one or two minutes, and then we're going to add our smoked eggs, okay? You can use smoked chicken legs or smoked neck bones, whatever you want to um, add as smoked meat. That's what you're going to use, but it's not quite yet time for that, okay? And you'll know when you're done uh, doing your um, garlic because you're going to smell it. <laughs> you're going to smell it. Okay, now I'm beginning to smell my garlic. It's about time for the next step. Okay, now this stuff here is chicken broth. Some people like to use water, but I do not like to use water. I like to use chicken broth. So I'm using three cups of chicken broth. Three cups. Do not forget your peppers, okay? You're going to add peppers to this. And what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna bring this to boil. We're gonna bring this to boil, okay? And then after we're gonna cook this to boil, we are going to go to the next step. So I will be right back after this uh, comes to boil. I'll be right back. Okay, now it's to boil. So we're gonna bring this down. I'm gonna turn it down. Okay. Now it's time to add the meat. Like I said, it can be it can be turkey meat, any type of meat, but make sure it's smoked. These are turkey wings. Okay. I'm going to let this cook with the lid on here. Okay. I'm going to let this cook for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Maybe 40. But yes, we're going to cook this for about 35 minutes with the lid on here. And I will be back after about 35, 40 minutes. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to have this on medium, okay, on medium heat. Uh, you can have it on medium low or whatever, but it's your skillet, your pot. You know how it cooks. So I'm going to have this on medium. So I will be back. Okay, there you go. Now let's turn this down. Okay, get all that steam out of it. Now it's time to add the, the greens. It's time to add the greens. Now, we are going to cook the greens for 45 to 60 minutes. And I want my greens to be tender. With a little crunch to it, but tender. So, I'm going to cook it. I'll check it again, probably like another 40 minutes. I mean, 45 minutes. And then, more likely, I might <laughs> come back and check it again for like another, you know, 15 minutes. 
But I'll be back in about 45 minutes. Okay, we about to finish up right now. This had rendered down to hardly nothing at all. <laughs> hardly nothing. Look at that. Like I said, that the greens were really were cooked down. You see how that cooked down? Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to put some of this in a bowl to show you guys. Now this is how I like mine, okay? This had cooked for a total of one hour and 15 minutes. Hello, we are finally done with the greens. All right, I'm, a, I'm about to try it out and see what it tastes like. Um, here we go. Mm. Tastes so good. It have a little kick to it, but not much. It's, it's perfect. It's delicious. So, so, if you try this recipe, please leave a comment down below and tell me how it turned out and how you like it. Well, thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Bye.